Hey there everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own LUT within Photoshop based on the famous orange tear look. Coming up! Hey guys, my name is Paul, I'm from Germany, you might have already noticed my German accent. Anyway, on this channel I'm focusing on tech reviews as well as filmmaking, so if you are interested in that, consider subscribe. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own LUT, which is basically a color grading preset within Photoshop based on the famous Blockbuster orange tear look. And after that, I'm gonna show you quickly how to apply it within Premiere Pro. Since it's already pretty cold here in Germany and it's also starting to rain, let's jump in right into the computer. Photoshop. I basically took this, um, I exported just a frame out of my 12 video banners. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. It should appear um, on the top right corner. Um, before we're gonna start, please make sure that this layer is already checked as a background. So um, not, a, not as a normal layer, like so. Please make sure that it is checked as a background layer. So, and what we're gonna do now first is, oh, before we're gonna start, if you are wondering um, why I'm using this wrist stabilization, um, I've had a couple issues with my wrist from um, the last editing session, so my wrist, was, my wrist was really hurting after that, and uh, that, is, that makes everything, editing and working on a PC with the mouse so much better. So I highly recommend you to buy this if you um, work with a mouse a lot as well. I will link it down below if you want to check it out. So let's continue. Okay, I open up an adjustment layer and I'm gonna open up my channel mixer. I go into my blue channel here and I change the blue to um, around 8 or around 10 and I increase my green until I have something that I'm happy with. I think 82 works really good. Please make sure that you always change the blending mode from normal to color. That way we always make sure that only the colors are selected and not uh, luminance value will change or something like that. Now I'm gonna see that I have, um, yeah, the greens are looking really good, but my skin tones appear to be um, a lot magenta. So I'm gonna fix that by um, selective color correction. And I took my reds here and I decrease my um, magenta here to I think around 23 and I increase my yellow to yeah around 14 and I go into my yellows and gonna do the same like just decrease um, the magenta and increase the yellows until I have something that I'm happy with. I think that works really well. I also change the blending mode to color right here. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to color balance and I here I make it really subtle. First I'm gonna go to my shadows and I pull um, like minus four, so cyan into my shadows. I'm gonna um, increase the greens in my shadows around three and I make the same for my blue with around five. So now I go into my midtones and I push the reds to around five and the yellows to yeah also five, so minus five right here. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I also change it here to color. The next thing I'm gonna do is um, hue and saturation. Here I choose my reds and I increase my saturation to around 23 and the hue also a little bit to yeah, minus 2 looks really good. I'm gonna go to my science and decrease my saturation to around 10 and I'm gonna do the same for my greens as well. So 
And what I'm doing right now is I also check here that color is marked. The last thing I'm gonna do is open up my curve. So I have this line right here. Here are the shadows, midtones, and here um, the highlights. I change, uh, go to my reds, and I wanna pull um, into my midtones reds. So I increase the just attach right here a little bit and the opposite direction means I push the greens so I want to do that into the shadows I go to the green and I do the same thing right here to the shadows I increase the greens just a little bit and I push a little bit to magenta into the mids right so and the blue, I'm gonna do the same. I increase it into the shadows, just really, really slightly. And I push in the opposite more yellow into the mids. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. Really subtle, in the end I'm gonna um, select everything. I go to export color lookup table and definitely make sure that the quality is around 30 so right into premiere i have two clips here this one where we just edited the frame and just another one um, just to check for you and if i'm gonna go into my lumetri panel to creative i'm gonna go to look I'm gonna change, change. I'm gonna um, go to search, go to downloads, and here I have my cube file that I just open, and we have it at around 100. And because this is actually the frame that we just use, um, it looks really, really good. I don't have to change anything. Um, if I can do like to make it really look old school, like the faded film. So therefore you do not have to do this, so just um, increase the blacks by pulling it like so. Um, you don't have to do this, but yeah, it gives you like the really old school filmic look. Um, just for comparison, I have another clip right here. I'm gonna do basically the same. I go to creative, look, search, I choose my LUT that I just created and it already looks really good here because the exposure is basically almost the same um, but you can here go to intensity and to decrease it for the most of the clips that i have uh, it works around 50 really well and um, this is just an example that it works here at 100. So guys, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up button and consider to subscribe. If you wanna check out all my gear, everything that I use is just linked down below. If you have any questions, any comments, just drop me a line. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I see you in my very next video. Cheers.